All right. Hey guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin. Um, this is the second part of me stringing this racket. All right. Um, as I said, this series of strings of stringing instruction is for the people who are kind of starting off. So it's kind of basics in stringing. Uh, so this is a two part series in which the first part was just the mains. Now, this, this video is just the crosses, okay? So let's get started, okay? This, this main is at 52 pounds, okay? Uh, Selenko Confidential, 16 by 19 pattern on this Pro Staff 97 uh, countervail, okay? So I'm gonna get my other half of the cross going. So I'm gonna measure the same way as I did the, uh, the mains. So I know there's 19 going down, okay? 19 crosses as I get down. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, okay? So I just measured my crosses. So I'm basically like going end to end like this. So I go one, right? And then I go two. So I go end to end, maybe like quarter of an inch past the frame each time, just for insurance, right? All the way down, 19, okay? So a little bit different. I'm gonna teach you a little bit differently than um, how I would string like on my Yonix video. I'm actually gonna use a starting knot here now. So I like to do this just because of time. Uh, you, I see people tying a knot first and then running that first uh, cross through, but th the way I do it is a little more efficient. Um, I just like to run that first cross over first. Oops, I, forget, I keep forgetting. You guys gotta follow me. All right, so find the first hole that you can put this in and put it in, okay? Now, you can go over that hole or under that hole, or that string, I mean. Um, i just used to going over it. So uh, if you go over that, you gotta go under the next one, right? And then over that one, right? Under the next one, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Right, when you get to the other side, you put it in the hole, right? And you check, right? Usually the first one's over and the last one's under, right? So you went over that one, therefore you went under the next one and then so on. So it should be over, under, over, under, over, under. So it's under here going into the hole, opposites. That has to be opposites, okay? Next thing we do is we take the end and we find the biggest hole, which is gonna be that one, it's obvious, right there. And we put it in there, just like that, okay? So instead of doing a double hitch that we did to finish these mains off, we're gonna do a starting knot, okay? It's very similar to a hitch, but we're going to loop it one more time, all right? So I'll show you. So we take the string that came out on my right, your left, and we go around this string that we are sharing right now, right? And then we're gonna go back under and through this loop, okay? I'll show you again. So I'll over the string, right? Go under, over, under, and then come up the other side of the string through the loop, okay? So it's just like a hitch, right? Except we are gonna take this and go like this and come around it again, right? Does that make sense? Let's try it again. So over, push down, up the other side and through, right? So what I like to tell people is you take this and you push it up against the loop, right? 
and then swing it through the loop again. Okay. Now what we're going to do now is actually hold the end here and run the machine. Okay. So I'm holding this so that the slack will go away. Okay. You may need a couple pulls on this. All right. So you see it, it's shrinking. You see it's shrinking. It's going to shrink a lot more now. Okay. There. All right. So that's a starting knot. Okay. I'm not going to finish tensioning that yet. I'm going to leave that right where it is for now. And then I'm going to take the long side of the string. And then do the next cross. Okay. So since that's over the string here has to be under so that means i go over here to get under there okay so over the first string to get under there because it has to be opposite of that one okay so over under over under over under over under over under right until i get to the other side okay so this so we're, we're looking at first over on this one, right? Under on this one. So it's opposite, right? But we're also looking at this one. So this is under here. This is over here, right? So that's good. We want to be opposite of the previous cross, right? So this is over, that's under. That is under, this is over. Okay, so we want to do that all the way through. We don't want this to match this. That would be wrong. Okay. All right, so it's time for me to pull tension on the first string. So I'm going to hold this again so it doesn't slide all the way through. And we're good. Okay, so that's tension now. I clamp it as close to the frame as I can, right? And I release tension. All right. So I skip ahead because it's it makes it easier to weave. If I were to do every single one without skipping ahead, I would be basically going uphill the whole string job. It would be fighting me the whole string job, okay? If you know... If you string that way, change it to this way. You will save a lot of time and aggravation. Trust me, you, when you do it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to do the third cross, right? We put it through the hole. Now, we, we're looking at that string right there because that's the previous cross. That string is under, right? This is under, right? We want to be over on this one then. So we go under here to go over there, right? So opposite, right? Over, under, over, under, right? Through, okay? Now we're at the other side. This is over, that's under, okay? We're probably right. Let's take a look. It's the opposite of this string like all these strings this needs to be the opposite if that's over this has to be under okay so so i'm also doing this so that i don't notch up the string right they used to call it burning the string but this is polyester so you don't want to notch up the string you don't want to start wearing out the string okay so i'm going to pull tension like so Clamp it. All right. All right. Fourth cross. So that is over now. We got to go under. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, through. Okay. Over here under here okay take a look right it's the opposite right again we don't want this cross to look like this one 
it's supposed to be the opposite, okay? So again, I'm gonna weave through, get through the slack, pull tension. Weave again, we're on the fifth cross now. That's over, we gotta be under again. See a pattern here when we get to a certain point? So I'm gonna weave down now, over, under, through, right? So I weave down so that we don't, uh, so it makes it easier. You got all this to work with when you're weaving. Oops, that was fast. Okay, so I'm on the other side, double check again. That's over, this is under. That's under, this is over, right? And in the middle, looks good to me. Pull tension, all right? I'm gonna show you one more quick thing. Now, this is over, that's under, okay? So you push through. Now, if you ever just need a little bit, it's tight right here, which it will be in the first couple of crosses, just give it a good, you know, yank or tug right there just to buy yourself a little string and then continue, right? That'll make it easier for you, right? So don't, don't be afraid to tug. We're on the other side. That's good. Now straighten out the crosses as you're going, like what I'm doing when there's tension on it. So you don't have to straighten it out too much at the end. So I usually push it up against uh, the other cross just so it'll straighten out easier. So again, I'm, I'm just gonna start moving now because I think you guys might have a hang of it now, right? So there, under, that's over. Again, check the string, that's over, right? We can go. Push that, hold that, clamp that, okay. All right, so I'm gonna just start finishing it up and then I'll show you at the end how we tie, okay? So. I'm just gonna start taking off now. So the key part of stringing is, is just, you see you're working with your hands, right? So try to anticipate what you need to do, all right? So I know that I gotta straighten and I gotta clamp and I gotta get it to the head, right? Those are my moves, right? So um, just anticipate what you're gonna do next, right? That'll make it more efficient for you, right? So I do this, I take that, right? I go to the head, I straighten, right? I grab, the, I undo the, the head, I, I undo the clamps, I mean, right? So it's constantly just thinking about what you're doing and working ahead, right? So, I mean, if you guys ever knit before, this is similar to that. Moving, moving, moving.
this is how I was taught. You know, when I was when I first started learning this, uh, Jesus, thirty years ago, we didn't have electric machines back then. It was a it was a crank machine. I was actually able to do them faster on that thing. You didn't have to wait for the the machine, the head on these to pull tension. I just cranked it and then I went. focus now so I can tell you the next instruction um, so I mean pretty much from here from here to here is going to be pretty much the same we don't need to worry too much because uh, the skip holes aren't going to be prevalent until uh, the beginning except for the beginning and the end here and we're approaching the end here I got one more that's gonna be the same way. So this is under again. Like we've pretty much uh, gone under for like the last, what is it, 14 to 15 holes. All right, we, which means we started under. We started under at first. So now, um, remember I was telling you we didn't want to cover up that second hole too? So we need to get into that hole right there. It's a lot easier with one, one string in the way than two strings in the way, okay? So, or actually, yeah, it would have been two strings in the way for that one. This one still would have been one. So yeah, right there, okay? You put it through just like that, okay? Now, this is the tricky part right here. You've been going under on that those previous holes all the way up to here. This one we're gonna go over because that one is under. So we go over this one to go under that one. Remember, opposite, always opposite. Go a little slower just so you guys right so we're at the end now right and we're at the opposite of that one that's over this is under okay now we're through right right over under that's under that's over that's the opposite right Pull tension So here, if I were to pull that all the way down here to tie it there, I would have had two strings to be in my way, okay? So because I popped up over here, I'm gonna try to pop in over here so that it lines up uh, together so it doesn't cross the string to go down like that, all right? So how I'm gonna do that, so I want you guys to see, I'm gonna have to take a plier. So I'm gonna have to go pop it in like this I can't get leverage on it so that you guys can see too so hang tight there hang tight there all right so I'm gonna go here cut a little angle on my string like this right and then I'm gonna try to find the hole and just jam it in okay jam it in Jam it in, I'm in, right? So here, another crucial point, another crucial point, right here. That's over. We want this to be under then, because we want the opposite of that, okay? So under, 
over that, over that, under that. All right. So I'm going to just slowly weave it for you through. Okay. Under that, over that, under that, over that. So I'm on the other side now. We're going in that hole. Okay, we're through to the other side. And I'm just gonna pop that through there, right? Just like that, okay? Double check that we're good. That's under, that's over. That's over, that's under. This line is the opposite of that line. We are good. We're gonna pull tension now. And straighten a little bit. Clamp in, okay? So. Okay, so it looks like we're good, okay? All right, let's finish it up. So again, we're gonna find the biggest hole, which is that one right there. That one's meant to be tied off, or the tie off hole. So we're gonna push it right through there, okay? Get a plier to get to grab the string. Okay, right? So we're, this, we're on the right side, or your left, of that string that we're sharing, right? So what we're gonna do is Again, we're going to go over that string, over that string. We're going to go around the string, under, and through the loop, okay? Now, this is going to get a little tricky because this clamp is going to be in the way. So, what we're going to do is make sure that we don't clamp, we don't um, put the knot on the clamp itself. So, as you see, it slid through and it's not on the clamp, okay? We don't want to hit that clamp because it, it might break the string, okay? So we're going to take, I'll just show you with the plier this time. We can get the plier and get some good leverage on it. We're going to pull it towards me, right? Straight up, towards you, straight up, towards me. Okay, one more time, okay? Over the string, under and through the loop second knot all right again make sure we're not hitting the clamp all right tighten up the knot towards me straight up towards you towards me okay and cut the slack off eighth of an inch about maybe quarter either one will work all right Base clamp, base clamp, clamp, clamp. So middle, outer, middle, outer until it loosens out. Okay. So if if it's all tensioned perfectly, right? These these things will make it very easy for you to let it out. If there's some kind of warpage or if you didn't tighten these enough, it'll actually be hard for you to let the racket out with these. Uh, with these braces, uh, all right, the six point mount here. So as you can see, that's pretty straight just by me straightening it as I go, all right? So that was the cross or how to string a cross, all right? Um, you know, practice makes perfect guys on these things. Uh, mains are actually pretty simple, uh, except for the tying and skipping, uh, make sure you skip the right holes and tie good knots. On the cross, make sure that weaving is correct. Make sure it's the opposite of the previous string, okay? We don't wanna match the two strings. Make sure that opening knot or the, the starting knot is correct um, and make sure you finish that knot correctly too. All right, so good luck guys, keep Keep stringing, keep stringing. You only get better at doing this, all right? Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.